right in the last two classes we have discussed about what is ux what is ui what is the difference between them what are the responsibilities of ux designer and what is the responsibilities of ui designer what is ux and what is ui everything we have discussed it and not only that yesterday class we have discussed about what is html first of all who developed html why he has developed html what is the purpose of a website okay then after who developed www how to display our website to the entire world all those things we have discussed okay everybody then after what is the full form of html so what is the meaning of that abbreviation what is uh, hypertext what is markup what is a language everything we have discussed in the yesterday class right everybody regarding yesterday class nobody has any doubts okay right so now successfully we have discussed about that so as i told in the last class first of all i will show you what is the template we are going to design in the last okay for the who you are attending yesterday class for themselves they will feel a little bit comfortable okay then after we will continue our regular class okay everybody right so give me one minute uh, offline session is starting yes so you think we have discussed it okay right so first of all see here course can also can observe bootstrap related things bootstrap alert messages bootstrap related buttons okay different uh, devices in different layouts same device will be, uh, display in different different sizes okay same browser and then after bootstrap basic example then after how to design your form grid system bootstrap related grid system then after login model bootstrap related things only then after navigation menu this is also related to bootstrap only then after flex display flex this is related to css3 okay everyone right then after dl dt dd small small tag tags are not living okay then after yes html field set and everything see here login model whenever page is loaded immediately this form is coming or else whenever i click the form is coming whenever i click on same button it is going so how to do this with bootstrap okay that is what i want to tell you and then after this navigation menu see it whenever you minimize icon is coming whenever you click then only it is coming here this is purely real time work understand it everybody this is also i will tell you by using bootstrap then after html related say this is css3 i will show you dl dd dd field set legend tags that means how to design your form basic html this fill out this field that means predefined html validation how to work or else how to stop okay that is also i am going to tell you so input type email input type number website input type url date of birth calendar then after choose color palette and everything clear or not respond please okay right then after heading paragraph tags so basic things also i'm not leaving img tag table tag table tag data grids how to display our data like a table format real time work is also clear everybody right then after example 2 then after table tag call span then after table tag on table tag also i'm telling some in examples okay right then after jquery related things see there of course this is a content i'm displaying with examples that's why it is coming with zigzag order okay don't think he will teach in zigzag order like that i will teach in a proper way okay everybody right now see here this is accordion menu whenever you click that related things only opening clear everybody okay right this is what we are going to do by writing coding 
by writing coding only we are going to do this okay right then after yard class remove class that means whenever you click class will be added uh, whenever you click class will be removed right click here first inspect element of course as a pressure you don't understand but what i mean to, what is my intention means okay whatever the content i'm writing definitely i will tell the example somebody will display the content in the word document here you don't know whether they will tell or not or else somebody will tell without telling examples i'll like possibly they will complete i'm not that type of faculty like that to get uh, to give that conference all i'm trying this okay right see here what is this div output div is there any classes applying here no but whenever you click on the add class see it class is applying here dynamically whenever you click class is becoming empty this is jquery okay everybody right all real time works only i'm going to tell you then after append class prepend class apply css through jquery then after dom traversing method children method child uh, children method parent method then after jquery click example fade toggle fade uh, fade in fade out fade toggle example see it an example i will show you slowly it was going see it observe it brightness also decreasing slowly okay everyone it is taking 10 seconds time again if you click here it is coming here slowly okay everybody right this is dom manipulation what is this everybody dom manipulation if you are able to manipulate any single element by using javascript or jquery if you are able to manipulate any single element by using javascript or jquery that is called as dom manipulation fade in fade out first method all these are all dom traversing methods only and a little bit example a little bit advanced for jquery concepts jquery ui drag and drop jquery ui that is called what jquery UI. for example ch i am dragging it out and i'm dropping here after that again it is going back okay everybody right this is also i'm going to tell you then after applying css most events When now you go over see it. Clear it everybody. This is not animation. Applying phases. Okay. Right. Then after array example, JavaScript this is. This is JavaScript. Okay. Then after arrays in JavaScript. Arrays with for loop. Then after array related methods. Async and await methods. One more time telling. This is zigzag order because of I'm displaying the content okay example wise okay so whole subject is covering or not just think like that okay whenever i'm teaching i will tell with a sequence only okay right async and await latest things call up and bind methods this is also very latest closure comparing values conditional statements then after cookies copying value copy value example see it whenever you are typing then immediately we are getting the same data here okay and if you observe here this copy example too so first you need to enter all the data first you need to enter all the data then you need to click on here then automatically the same data will come here okay this is also by using javascript then after date methods date methods which switch example dialog boxes alert prompt and confirm boxes then after difference between where late and fast key what is that everybody difference between where keyword is there let keyword is there constant keyword is there what is the difference between them it practically example i am showing you different types of methods that means normal naming function anonymous function lambda expression or arrow method lambda expression or Yarrow method. There is called under different types of methods. Okay, everybody. There is also with practical examples I am going to tell you. Then after how to find duplicate values in an array. Okay. 
then a fractional javascript filter method for loop see i am telling multiple examples as well for loop with conditional statements for loop example example 2 for each method for each method examples 2 get elements by in uh, sorry yeah get that in html then after get elements by class name get elements by name get elements by tag name query selector all query selector get element by id all the element selectors in javascript i'm going to tell you then after what is for string okay then after inline javascript difference between inner text and inner html then after how to work with json objects okay how to convert json object json dot stringify json dot parse okay clear examples i will tell you then after keyboard events then after length property local storage map method mouse events objects objects example to on click event on load event promises very very important okay all these things are important only then after promises prototype query selector all query selector reduce method rest operator spread operator session storage set interval get interval sorry set interval clear interval set timeout clear timeout spread operator string method how to get the sum of an values in an array okay sum of values in an array there is 10 values how to get that all the 10 values sum then after switch statement so two examples this keyword variable declarations everything then after coming to this basic template how to design at least a basic template how to adjust the spaces how to design this type of menus by writing code uh, so if you observe here there is uh, space is equally shared between them space is equally shared between them how to share how to create this space equally this is also very very important things then after float property animation audio video tags how to work with them then after bootstrap grid system okay border radius border radius is for curvy radius curvy corner but everybody tells only one example and they will leave it within two or two three minutes they will complete but if you analyze this border radius clearly we can make this many shapes some faculty they don't know how to work with this border radius also what is the behavior okay if you are seeing any property means not only multiple examples we need to know behavior of that property then only we can handle any type of projects understanding right without uh, telling the behavior of the property if i tell 100 templates also cannot utilize them understanding right everybody so that is my intention i will tell you behavior of the property okay right so how border radius shall behave if you assign one value what happens two values what happens three values happen what happens four values what happens okay same way margin also then after border radius this is box shadow text shadow this is for uh, uh, displaying our uh, text with or else elements with strokes okay everybody right see this one whenever you are uh, studying in the schools you will write your names like this yes sir you will write your names like this understand that my point respond please okay how to get these type of things then after box size in border box cards example chessboard this cards also you can observe this is image this cards are responsive by using bootstrap we can decide card size is also increasing now decreasing understand it everybody right then after with less amount of code how to make a chessboard with less amount of code clear it everybody right somebody will write a different different ideas for each and every div element without using that how to do like this understand it my point right so then after chessboard yeah completed then after content alignment with image observe you can observe here clearly image and content is coming side by side whenever you over see it some shadows also coming and background image also we are displaying throughout the body understanding that everybody then after difference between class and id this is very very important very good 
difference between display and visible data this is also very important question with practical examples i'm showing interview questions also okay right then after display difference between inline and block elements this is also very very important then after flex related things see it let's say how many examples i'm telling because in the flex there is so many predefined values are there and there is so many combinations also available so as much as possible as combination i am telling flex align items column column item column align items direct flex direction column column reverse that direction row row reverse justify content see the uh, so almost i am telling 12 examples for only flex understand it everyone okay right then after display in line block example div examples triangle example see it this is only by using width to height to border okay by manipulating the width to height and border we are making this many border shapes but everybody will complete border within 5 minutes border thickness style color that's it completed 2px thickness solid or dashed or dotted or black color that's it but if you analyze this border clearly if you observe the behavior properly you will make this many shapes Six years, seven years, persons also. If they don't analyze, they are not able to do it. But this is very fundamental. Understand it, everybody? Difference between experience and pressures is analyzation. Experienced persons, if they say anything, they will analyze properly. Pressures, they are not able to analyze properly. That's it. So if you observe CSS, there is no experienced properties. There is no pressure level property. Properties are same. If pressure right also, same way it will work. Experience right also same way to work. The only thing is how they are writing, when they are writing, or okay, on um, finding the requirements and everything. Clear it, everybody? Right. So analyzation makes you experienced person. Or else you just hold, not an experienced person. Okay, everybody? Right. Then after external CSS, each and every topic I'm telling. Okay. Uh, then after float property, inline CSS, internal CSS, login form see here. All are with practical examples, one, okay? Right. Then after overflow property, UL, OL, LX, overflow properties, paragraph, position, see it, so many examples I'm telling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like, yeah. 12 examples I'm telling. So see here, okay, right, positions, how many I am telling, 12 examples I am telling. So positions if you analyze properly in CSS2, up to CSS2, if you analyze positions properly, if you know how to work with relative and absolute, especially positions, there is relative and absolute positions is there. If you know how to work with them, so 60% of CSS you can understand. Remaining 30% is the space adjustments, 60 plus 30, 90. Remaining 10% is small, small properties only. Color, background, color, border, border radius, the margin, padding, the type of uh, properties. Fortunately, now we have display flex. Sometimes it will give alternative for positions, but still we need to perfect with the positions. So my intention is to make you to perfect. My intention is to make you to perfect. Clear or not? Respond everybody. Okay, so that's why I'm telling these many examples. He is telling same topic multiple times, don't think like that. Okay, to make it to perfect one, I am telling these many examples. Then after transform property, scale, rotate, skew, uh, skew. If you observe this, you will understand very clearly. This is looking like animation, but it is not animation. Okay, by changing some CSS properties, it will be behaving like this. Clear everybody? Right. And the translate example also see it. Observe this one as well. This is vertically center and horizontally also center. What is everybody? This is vertically center. This is horizontally also center. What? Throughout the body, it is center. In each and every device, also it will work in the same way. 
so computer to computer some computer's resolution may be different but still it will work in the same way how to do this type of things then after this one this also vertically center see top bottom you are getting equal space left and right you are getting equal space and background image whenever you over some overlay is coming okay everybody right and some shadow also coming like a moon understanding right everybody then after transform translate working culture of css everything z index okay everyone right then after templates so i am closing all these examples understand it everybody javascript jquery html everything i show you with content content with examples okay so definitely can feel okay not only in the what he will tell examples in the html okay uh, real time also okay right of course first class i have shown it but second class also some students are coming right so i don't want to disappoint them so that's why i want to show them these things so then after this is a template we are going to design in the last this is purely responsive web template this fonts these are all not regular css fonts these are all google fonts what are they everybody google fonts that means i will tell you how to work with third party fonts as well i will tell you how to work with third party fonts as well okay right so this one also and whenever you minimize see it menu icon is coming okay everybody and if you observe here this content whenever you decrease also this content is occupying only 75% of it is occupying only 75% if you increase also same say it is occupying 75% and now you are able to see complete menu okay responsive images means what i told yesterday depends upon the device size and the browser size our web page alignment should adjust automatically adjusting or not alignment okay right this is and then after if you observe here this is not images these are all font of some icons okay everybody that means i will tell you how to work with third party icons as well and whenever you increase see it you are getting four button okay and four columns whenever you decrease only two still if you decrease only one see it button size also increasing this is in the smartphones okay everybody right and if you observe here whenever you are scrolling this image is not moving but entire web page is moving this is called parallax effect what is everybody parallax effect i will tell you how to do this also and this is also third party font google fonts style sheet name is okay right and whenever you increase see it still now it is coming side by side responsive or not respond then after we are getting here three images side by side three columns when now you decrease getting only two getting only two then after here we are getting only one column and social media icons also we are getting these are also font also icons but when now you increase we are getting three columns clear everybody right now then after this slide whenever i click see it images are changing of course i don't have equal size images but in real time they will give you equal size images only so that you can do this but process is same understanding it everybody then after google maps how to integrate google maps in your application how to design your form whenever you decrease they are coming one by one okay right google maps also come how to integrate this suppose you have so your office address so you want to display in the your website as well so how to integrate your office address in the web page okay everybody there is also right this is a template we are going to design in the next understand it everyone free response and in the javascript i forgot to tell one thing that is validation also i will tell you what is that everybody validation it present your name okay right then after this one same validation but uh, the errors will display 
on top of it. Say it. Please enter your password. Please enter your last name. Please enter your email address. Say it. Only I am writing here test. Please enter your valid email address. What an email should contain at the rate. Then after say it. Same error. Then after we should have some text. Then after what an email should contain dot. Please enter valid email address. After dot, how many characters we need to accept? Two or three. Dot in, dot uk, dot au, dot us, like that. Or else dot com, dot net, like that. For example, here I am writing four letters. Please enter valid email address. For example, I am writing only one letter. Please enter valid email address. Now I am writing only three letters. Dot com. Please enter your phone number. Where it everyone? Right. So now I am writing like this. Please enter your valid phone number and see it. Content by default it is selecting. Understand it everybody? Content see here. By default it is selecting. Just you can press on backspace. Again see there. Click on register. See it. Please enter value phone number. Immediately this content is selecting. Now right there, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. See, it is accepting hyphens also. Because some US persons will write with parentheses or hyphen, something like that. In that case, whatever the user enters, we need to accept. Sometimes some special characters also. Okay, everybody, right. Then after gender, please select your gender. I'm selecting only one. Please select your languages. I'm selecting only one. But still it is accepting. Please select your subject. See it. Again, I'm selecting select your subject only. What is telling? Please select your subject. Please upload your file. Then after, please enter your address. Clear or not? Respond everybody. So right there. We enter. Understand it everybody? That's it. See it. I am telling you what I am telling this example. I am telling you how to validate text boxes. I am telling you how to validate radio button. How to validate check boxes. How to validate select box. How to validate browse button. That means input a file. How to validate text area. These are all the form controls we have in HTML. Okay, everybody. So whenever you learn this, automatically you can handle any type of project related validation. Real time work or not? Okay, right. Okay, that's it. So this is about course content and course examples also. Okay, everybody. So how much transparency is possible? That much transparent line we have. Okay, everybody, right. So no need to worry about the content or else any examples also. Everything practical I'm showing. Content I'm showing with practical examples. Okay, right. So that's it, everybody. So yeah, everybody clear, right? That's one Jyoti, Prem, Shravan, Shravya, Naga Jyoti. You are not responding, everybody. Respond online, people. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Okay. See, I would like to interact with the students. So, so please respond through voice. Okay, I'm not able to see your chat message. Yes, that's it, everybody. I have given some clarity. Okay. Yeah, please put everybody. Okay, right. So now we are going to continue our regular class. Okay, right. So after that, what we discussed is you know, what is a website? Who developed a website? So how to display our website in the internet? What we need to purchase? What is domain name? What is hosting space? Who sell these domain names and hosting space? GoDaddy.com, BigRock.com, Google also will sell it. Okay, right. So then after who developed that www? Okay, everything we are discussed. And what is the HTML? What is the full form of HTML? What is, is the meaning of each and every word in that full form? Everything we have discussed in the yesterday class. Okay, everyone. So that video is also available in the online YouTube. So just you need to go to the YouTube.com. Okay, everybody. Just go to the YouTube.com. Okay, right. 
then after need to be loaded go to the durga software solution go to what durga software solution then after you can go to the playlist ai technologies by ramesh at 5 pm okay everybody so if anybody missed you can watch that video here understanding it everybody this is the playlist so open youtube.com then after go to the channel durga software solution ch durga software solution there is 805k subscribe that means 8 lakh okay more than that also we have okay right and there you can go to the playlist what is everybody playlist there you can go here create technologies clear on trust on everyone that's it okay right if anybody miss any class also you can watch not all the classes but starting classes demo class only will be there after making payment or else after registering in my course if you are package students or anybody okay after registering in my course i will share the videos with through google drive what is everybody google drive and example file is also in the same drive okay everyone right this is the process okay right now today class what we are going to do what is the basic code what is that everybody what is the basic code a html file should contain okay what is the basic code a html file should contain understand it everybody right what is the basic code here? every file how html file should contain this is the thing first thing is doc type html what is everybody doc type html and remember this is not a tag remember this doc type html this is not a tag this is a instruction to the web browser what is everybody instruction to the web browser it will specify the web browser that the programmer is going to use html version 5 that the programmer is going to use html version 5 one more time telling this is not a tag this is just an instruction okay please remember that then after html tag every html page every html page should start with html tag one okay then after we have html also follows human body structure then also we have head tag and body same human body first head then after body so head and body then what is the purpose of this head tag what is the purpose of the head tag okay everyone what is the purpose of head tag to specify basic information what is that everybody to specify basic information related to our web page we are specifying basic information right for whom purpose i need to mention users purpose and search engine purpose why users purpose for example say here whenever you open see it whenever you are seeing this icon and everything you will understand this is youtube.com by saying this you will understand it is gmail <coughs> so why we need to mention for example in a single web browser in a single web browser i can run multiple applications i can run multiple applications okay everybody so in that case <coughs> in that case after some time i will confuse which tab is containing which application what is it everybody which tab is containing which application we can run 10 20 tabs also we can run at a time 20 different applications also but after five minutes you will confuse which tab is containing which application okay everybody so that's why to prevent that they will display here titles so that what happens by reading these titles okay this is youtube.com this is facebook.com this is twitter.com like that you will understand understand it everybody so this is for user purpose okay then after what is the thing we need to do not only user purpose for search engine purpose also we need to specify 
Why you need to specify for the search engine purpose? First of all, what is search engine? Google, Bing, those are all search engines. Okay. For example, you are developing a news uh, uh, website. What is that? News website. So, what type of news generally people will read? Movie news, political news. Right, everybody? Movie news and political news. Everybody interested in that news only. They don't know. That's fine. So, some people, what they will do directly, they will come to your application. Some people directly, they will come to your application. But some people, what they will do, they will search in the Google. They will search in the Google. For example, what is the latest news? For example, uh, Nala Chandra Naidu Bay. Okay. Or else any other news. Uh, uh, Modi. Or else uh, uh, Israel and uh, Hamas war. Okay. Like that, somebody will search in the Google. Or else Prabhas movie latest release updates. Something like that they will search in the Google. Right, everybody. In that case, your website should results. Your web page should come in the first place or not in the Google results. That's one. Okay. So that purpose, what we need to do? Yes, E, O. What is that, everybody? Yes, E, O. Search engine optimization. What is it, everyone? Search engine optimization. Okay. So we must do search engine optimization. Okay, everybody. So that is a different topic. Uh, that is every company, there will be search engine developers. Sorry. Search engine optimizers will be there. Digital marketers. Okay. They will handle that. So that persons they will suggest you some keywords and description. So they will guess what users will type in the Google. They will guess that understanding or not. So that keywords they will suggest us. So that keywords and that description we need to keep in the meta tags. That meta tags we need to specify in the edit tag. Okay, everybody. That meta tags we need to specify in the edit tag. So this meta tags is for Search engine purpose. This meta tax is for search engine purpose. Okay, everybody. So basic information we need to specify. And not only that, for example, what is the character set you are using? English. English alphabets you will use. But English uh, alphabets can understand by the browser? No. It has to convert into binary language. Computer can understand only binary language. Okay. So every browser contains interpreters. No need to install manually. For example, HTML interpreters for Mozilla Firefox, HTML interpreters for Google Chrome. No need to install like that. If you install browser means automatically that interpreters will come. Okay. Browser also collection of interpreters and connection between them. Like our human body. What is our human body? Collection of organs and connection between them. In the same way, browser contains internal organs or yes, in, uh, interpreters. How many interpreters? Three interpreters HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay, so these interpreters will convert their related language related code on. Understanding it, everybody. Right now, here whenever it is converting into binary code, each and every character should not exceed 8 bytes space. That's why we need to use this UTF 8. For each and every character, it will assign internally 8 bytes only. Okay, in latest browsers, it doesn't throw any error if you don't specify. But older version browsers, if you don't specify this, it will throw some warning messages. That is not good for our SEO. If you are if your web page is displaying some internal warning, that is not good for your SEO. Understand it, everybody? Right. So that's why better to mention this. It doesn't affect the programming because this is the by default they will specify in the browser. But Latest browsers only. Older browsers, they don't face. Understand it, everybody? Whenever you are developing an application, means that should work in the latest browsers as well as in the older browsers. As well as in the older browsers. So, safe side, we need to mention this one also. So, this is about the head tag. What is that? Basic information about our web page. Only that's it? No. Basic essential files also. What are the basic essential files? External JavaScript, external CSS. What is that, everybody? External JavaScript, external CSS files. We need to call here. Okay. Or else, basic essential code. What is the basic essential code? Internal CSS, internal JavaScript. Internal CSS, internal JavaScript. That is also we need to specify here. 
that is also we need to specify here there are not respond everybody okay right then after purpose of body tag purpose of body tag is what user interface creation what is that user interface creation how we will specify user interface how do we will create user interface by using html so all the html code all the html tags we must write in the body tag we must write in the body tag right everybody understanding or not that is it okay everybody right so this is what i have explained here dark type html is the instruction for the browser it instructs the browser as html version 5 html html tag is the root element for entire web page this is the root element not body not head what is the root element html itself it has two child elements head and body what is the purpose of head tag we can specify a title for our web page by using title we, we can recognize a web page or website among all other web applications if you have multiple web applications open in a single browser also by finding this by seeing this title we will identify our web page clear it everybody that's fine then after example title and basic html tag then after second point for the sake of seo search engine optimization we need to use some keywords and descriptions related to our web page that keywords and description we need to specify in the meta tags we must write meta tags in the header tag then after we need to specify meta character utf8 it will assign 8 bytes maximum for every character when converting into binary language okay right then after we can call external css and external javascript files we can write internal css and internal javascript code whatever i discuss theoretically same thing i have written clear it everybody right then after what is the purpose of body tag all the code related to user interface we must write in the body tag we can call external javascript files as well. of course we can call okay what is the difference i will tell you that's it then after what is css and everything when our css started i will tell you okay everybody right this is the html introduction understand or not okay right yesterday class i have explained about what is the full form of html okay and what is hypertext what is markup what is language and everything Let it everybody you can watch that uh, YouTube videos. Okay, right. If anybody missed, okay. Now what is the thing we are going to do? We are going to implement practical things. Then, if you want to implement practical things, what are the minimum softwares we need to have in our computer? What are what are the minimum softwares we need to have in our computer? text editor yes ide what is that everybody ide integrated development environment that means where you can develop your application okay that is called ide okay so here i am preferring notepad plus plus somebody will be very interesting in visual studio code because that is latest of course you can use visual studio code also but what is the design advantage of visual studio code there is an intellisense what is that everybody intellisense what is the meaning of intellisense what is the use for example you have typed there a then what happens all the commands related to all the methods related to a will list out there so generally what we will do we will select that function so it will comes with syntax but what is the design advantage here sir there is only advantage what is the design advantage the only design advantage is you are not writing by yourself so that you are not perfect with this since you are not writing by yourself you are not perfect with the spellings some methods are not only three letters four letters 10 to 20 letters also will be there understand it everybody in that case if you are not perfect with the spellings okay in the interview whenever you are going to the interview they don't give any fancy ides like visual studio code yatam or as netbeans they don't give any ides like that they will give only basic id like notepad plus plus if he is good some great people will be there they will give only notepad 
they don't allow notepad plus plus also so in that case what happens since you are practicing the visual studio code though you know the logic though you know how to do it but still you are not perfect with the spelling and the syntax is also you are not writing okay since you are not writing the syntax though you know the logic though you know how to complete the task but still you are not able to complete it. okay and you are failing the interviews also so that's why here i'm suggesting you to practice in the basic ideas since it doesn't provide anything by default everything you need to write spelling syntaxes and everything once you are perfect then only you can go to the visual studio okay my suggestion is using any basic id so here i'm teaching in the notepad plus plus okay just because of that notepad plus plus or visual studio code you don't get any different outputs that is just a code editor where you can write your code okay if you made me in the visual studio code also you don't get any output code properly same mistake if you did in the notepad plus 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 also you don't get any proper outputs the right code correctly in the notepad also you will get proper output understand it everybody right so one is id and another one is browser what is everybody browser so in the world wide we have five famous browsers we have in the world wide we have five famous browsers what are they mozilla firefox google chrome internet explorer or edge opera safari in these five browsers edge or internet explorer by default in the windows or operating system windows operating system internet explorer or edge is that is default they will come by default and in the mac what is the default browser safari what is everybody safari is the default browser remaining things we need to install manually of course nowadays everybody installing google chrome i appreciate it but try to install mozilla firefox also because that is very very friendly programmer friendly browser what is everybody programmer friendly browser programmer friendly browser means it doesn't tell hi how are you when are you open it okay whatever you write it will understand very easily how much latest css properties also okay how much latest javascript syntax also how much latest javascript methods also it will understand very easily it will gives that related output okay so that's why i'm suggesting you to install mozilla firefox understand it my point okay everybody right so from my first days onwards i have a habit of using mozilla firefox only because at that time they have used more every program will use mozilla firefox okay everybody right so this is the basic two software we need to have and then after what is the basic things we need to have two softwares okay and what is the basic thing we need to have in our computer a practice folder generally we will neglect this practice folder we will save everything in the desktop only that is also individually we don't create a folder also desktop is not for storing purpose that is for only temporary storing purpose only for example after one hour i have a meeting in that meeting i need to do some presentation so in that presentation i need to refer so many files also in that case i cannot keep each and every file in different different folders or something like that suddenly i don't remember which drive i have stored or something like that so that what happens everything i will keep in the desktop it is very easy to navigate right so immediately i will open that but actually that is for temporary storage purpose only not for practicing any technology okay everybody so what we need to do we need to create a folder in our computer d drive e drive f drive any drive okay everybody so how to create for example if you observe here i have created a folder with the name ui classes because i will teach multiple technologies angular also react also node also so that's why i want to specify everything individually so that's why i have created a separate folder for ui classes i teach online i teach offline so that's why i have created a separate folder for online classes and here i can teach at a time multiple batches also so that's why i need to create a folder for our class purpose okay everybody for example i am creating a folder of course i am teaching offline and online but i am creating in the online zone okay right so what is this i am creating a new folder so what it should contain proper information for example 
Ramesh underscore UI underscore class underscore what is this one? November. What is everybody? November underscore what is the year? 2023. So that in the next 2024 November, if I announce a new batch also, your files does not merge, merge with that files. Why? Because here I am mentioning year also. And then after, in the same month, at different time also, I can announce a new batch. So your files and their files should not match. That's why I need to specify here time as well. What is that? Five. Clear it, everybody? So a folder should have this much meaning. But in your case, no need to worry about that. It is very simple. Your name underscore, joy underscore practice. Why are you writing your name? Because some freshers or some persons, they will stay in the same room. So if there is four persons, all the four persons, they don't have laptops. Two persons we have some so two persons they don't have are some rooms they have only one laptop so everybody practices in that particular laptop only so in that case what happens you need to maintain different different folders for your purpose understand it so that what happens you can save your files there separately another person then can save his folders also separate understand it everybody so don't save everything in the same folder okay do it in different different folders okay right so after software, what is the important thing we need to have? A practice folder. So please don't neglect that. And after creating, we need to save all the files there only. We need to save all the files there only. Not other than any, any other places. Okay, everybody? Right. Create your folder, there only save everything. Clear or not my points? Okay, that is about that. Okay, everybody? Right. For example, somebody they don't know how to download the Notepad Plus Plus also. So I want to tell them about that. Go to the google.com and type there Notepad Plus Plus Download. What is that? Notepad Plus Plus Download. See some results are coming. Okay, right. And then after open this in a new tab. Why? If one solution is not working properly, Immediately you can come to that Google results. You can open in the you can go to next solution So whenever you are taking anything in the Google whenever results came that results open in a new tab not in the same tab Okay, if one solution is not working immediately you can go to other solution in the companies also. They will do like this one Okay, right So this is how we are getting So which one we need to download latest one generally in software industry, there is a rule. General will prefer latest. No, we will prefer stable version. What is that, everybody? Stable version. If there is no stable version, is there? For example, they are not different. They are not telling anything as stable. Then only we need to go for latest. Okay. But in software industry, they will prefer stable version. If there is no stable version available, then only we need to go for latest version. So here they are mentioning anything as stable version. No. In here they are telling vulnerability fixes. Then after there is other version also there. So that means 8.5.8. It contains automatically 8.5.7 also. So we can download and install 8.5.8. Clear it everybody? Just click here, you will get a MSI rs.exe exe file. Just you need to click on the uh, that folder exe file file. It will ask for some permission. Please accept that permission. Then after click on next, 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 finally finish. That's it. Okay, everybody. Then after you will open a code editor like this. Then after take a new page and write whatever the code you want. And whenever you are saving, this is very, very important. Whenever we are saving, we don't check wherever we are saving also. Whenever, wherever we are saving also. Immediately you will write a name. And we'll click on save, but this address we don't save, we don't see it, which is not correct. So whenever you are saving anything, we need to check wherever we are saving. For example, see it is going to the UI class July folder, July August folder, which is not correct. So go to the online classes and go to our particular folder. What is that? Ramesh UI class. Ramesh UI class November. 
Sit, Ramesh Shiva class, November 2023 file, and here. Okay, everybody. So here we write basic underscore HTML underscore tags underscore example dot HTML. What are the extension we need to for HTML pages? Dot HTML. See it. I am saving here itself. Now click on save. That's it. These are process you need to follow. Okay, everybody. Right. Actually, I told Monday to Friday only classes, but tomorrow also I want to take the class. Okay. Right. That's what prayers they have informed you. So tomorrow I will take the class. So please come at five o'clock. Okay, everybody. Regular time. Clear, right, everybody. Right. So tomorrow we have class. Online people, you also have have class. Okay. So only tomorrow I will take the class. Okay, everybody. Please attend tomorrow also. If anybody your friends is missing today class, please inform them also. Please ask them to come tomorrow. So tomorrow I will write here basic code related bit. Okay. So tomorrow onwards we are going to implement everything practically. Okay. Only first two to three class only I will tell you everything theoretically because in the day one we cannot write coding. Then onwards everything I will tell practically after completion of practical I will give notes. Clear it everybody? Right. So that's it everyone. This is the class for today. Tomorrow we have class at regular time, five o'clock. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Everybody.